Hello, welcome to Falindo. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to file up what we call the online choice of address and agent. Okay, so the form is DS261. Okay, now let's understand. First of all, to do that, you need to go to this address. Okay, it's HTTPS. Uh, we got uh, this one and c e c c e a c dot state dot gov slash c e c e slash okay so today's video is about uh, how uh, how to fill out the online choice of address and agent so that understand um, the step when your case is processing at the NVC you need to first to receive an invoice number generally the first thing they're gonna ask you to pay is the affidavit of support fee you cannot just decide to pay by yourself even though you got the case number nvc need to send you the an invoice number you can call them to ask the invoice number if if you think a, a you already have the immigrant visa because you cannot go to the system if you don't have an invoice number okay so I, like, I, like I told you, the first thing is to pay the affidavit of support fee. Once you do that, you can, once you pay the affidavit of support fee, then you can file the form online, choice, choice, choice of address and agents, okay? But after that, you, you will file the form DS-260. So there is a step. First, you pay the affidavit of support fee with the invoice number. Second, you file the online choice, choice of address and agent. Second, they will email you, okay, the, the agents. So they will email you and then to move to the process. So you will receive a, another invoice number to pay the, the, the visa, which is right now on 2017-225, okay, on to pay the visa you have to send the civil document um, with the affidavit of support that's the step okay so that's the step so again to pay you need an invoice number okay so i already paid the invoice number for this person okay and then what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm his agent so I, i'm gonna uh, file the form ds261 for for this is my uncle for him and then after that they will email me telling me to pay you know the visa you know and uh, to fill out the form ds260 as well as to pay the the visa okay by the way i got a video that tell you uh, that explain you how to fill out the form ds260 but it's really important to to file the ds261 because they they will they got conversation with you uh with, online once you have the a, the DS two sixty one file, okay, so it's really important. So let's do that. So first of all, like I told you, I'll go to this address and then I'm gonna click on DS two sixty one online choice of agent. So the petitioner can be that. You don't need a lawyer to do that. As a petitioner, you can be the online choice of agent. So what I'm gonna do? Let's click on this, okay? DS two sixty one. So again, this address I, I write it down for here and it's at the top here. So you need to go to this address, okay? The, the, it's Consular Electronic Application Center, DS261. Okay, let's click on this. Okay, so let me show you. So I will need to enter here the case number, okay? I will need to enter the case number. I cannot let you see the case number. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna enter the case number. So I already entered the case number here. I cannot let you see this. So I'm gonna click on continue, and then the screen gonna be larger. They're gonna ask me for the invoice number. Okay, right, I'm gonna click on continue once you enter the case number. So once I click on continue, so the system asks me for the invoice number. Okay, the invoice number. And then I need to select either if I'm an applicant, an attorney, or the petitioner. Okay. In this case, this is the petitioner. Okay. That is so. 
here you the petitioner you can do it okay so I select petitioner this so I will need to put the invoice somewhere that's why I told you if you don't have even you cannot decide by yourself if you don't have the invoice number I already have the first invoice number when I was paying the affidavit of support fee I can use it the the invoice number the see this this universe invoice number to fill out the form BS261 so I'm gonna enter the invoice number here as well as the security and click on continue so let me tap the invoice number here so I enter my case number invoice number I'm the petitioner and then that's just a security character and then I'm gonna click on continue so once you click on continue the, the, so that's the way to sign in in order to sign in you need the case number the invoice number select who you are and then security character and you click on continue that's the way to sign in okay so i already enter everything so i'm gonna sign in right now so i'm actually in so i just blew up some information the case number as well as the the applicant and that's for the the petitioner so i'm actually in as you can see affidavit of support fee is in process because i really a pay the affidavit of support fee that the first invoice you receive by the way and then generally it take it should take about one a week to process so if you pay the affidavit of support fee is it's more than a week i would advise you to call the nvc telling them or you will pay uh, uh, since a week and then it's still in process you need to call them last time i paid it took really like like three weeks so so normally they shouldn't take that long after one week just call them because they know uh, uh, the longer it should be approximately one a week no more than that so it, this i just paid a I, I paid this three days ago i'm just gonna wait for like seven business day to call them okay because the way it is they need to post the affidavit of support fee first before moving to this step okay that's why you need to to, to fill this one because they will send you information online so that's why it's really important to do this so let's do this we're gonna just uh, choose choice of address and agent okay so i'm gonna start application for the online agent right here i'm gonna click this one okay so this is uh, the first page for the online choice of agent basically so they they just want you to to certify that information that you're gonna provide are true and correct okay so that's and then you're gonna click on continue here so after you you click on certify continue you're gonna have this so this this information is about the principal immigrant okay this person most of the time it's overseas from another country so you put that's that you see that the last name first name this email address is not the email address of the agent this is the email address of the of the applicant but i understand sometimes people obviously in some country they don't even have email address so sometimes you can just put email address of, for another family member but this is email address is about for for the applicant so they ask you these questions have you already legally immigrated into the u.s most of the time it's gonna be no because most of the time when you are doing this one this application is for someone that is, is in, it is in a foreign country. Most of the time it's gonna be. But we know some case when this person is a willing or say legally, you will do that in, in this case, okay? So put the email address of the person obviously, if the person have or, or family member, okay? So I'm gonna put the email address here. But in this case, I'm a family member of the person. I'm just gonna put my, my email I know she doesn't have any email at all okay so they are basically asking her the second question q if she want to appoint an agent which is me okay so it's yes so which means they should be a declaration from the applicant which is we know they are obviously and she just she doesn't have email i just i put the email address of a family member so this information is about it's going to be about the agent okay so the agent like i tell you can be the petitioner if you are the petitioner you can be the agent too so 
I understand it's really straightforward. Last name, first name, address, city, you know, US, this, this definitely gonna be United States, <laughs> right? I can put this, because this is, I know sometimes when people get agent overseas, most, most of them are United States. This, which means what? Which means you may have an overseas that is living in another country. Let's say if you are, if, if the person decides to hire a, a third party that is living in another country, you can do that, okay? But we know if you're watching this video, maybe you are the petitioner, so you are in the United States. Telephone number, they need a telephone number. The most important thing, this is the agent email. This is really important because they're going to send you information via your email. This is really, really important. Email of the agent, okay? So just fill out this and then next for review it's easy okay so let's fill out this information about the agent okay let's do this i'm gonna put information here about the agent i cannot let you see that <laughs> okay so i fill out all the information i'm the agent so remember the most important thing is the email of the agent this is the email when they will send you any requests from the nvc okay so the phone the phone number is also important they might call you but most of the time they email you so that's really important to the, this the, in fact the main objective of this is to provide your email so that when you when you do it online it's really faster instead, instead of mailing you the document they just email email you our, our, the agent so we are we are done here so we just click here for review hmm? so it's really simple that doesn't take that long so let's click here for to review the application so once you click on review you got this sign and submit okay so just to make sure that everything is correct double check please the email okay address as well okay oh, double check that everything is correct and then click sign and submit just one more step to finish so did anyone assist you? I, if you're watching this video, this video, you are trying to do it by yourself, so you click on no. And then, so V, you put the, the code, okay, 9, H, 8. That's it. Okay, that's one more step. And then you click on submit. Okay. And then you got this beautiful message that, say, that told you, you have successfully signed and submit your form which is the DS-261, okay, at this point you cannot make change, okay, they say click next, uh, for confirmation, okay, just gonna show you the confirmation when you click next. Finally, we are done, this is the confirmation of uh, the online choice of agent, so you can print a copy to keep, to keep a copy with you, you can even even email a copy to the applicant, okay? So you can decide to print a copy, okay? That's you good now, okay? Okay, you good now. Okay, so the next step they will email the agent telling him that the application has been successful. It can take like in three or four days. They will tell you your application for choice of agent has been successful and then they will and then a couple of days they might they will send you another notice to move with the process so the the next steps gonna be to file the ds260 the the the, the visa as you have to pay right now in 2017 is 225 and then also you need to file online the form ds260 okay and then at the same time you're doing this, you can submit the, all the civil documents. I'm talking about birth certificate, marriage certificate, divorce, picture, uh, whatever else. With a picture, those are civil documents, okay? And then passport, all the civil documents you need to send them. And more importantly, the affidavit of support. All those are civil documents. So, but you need to do it for... Because you cannot decide to pay the, the immigrant visa without receiving an invoice number, okay? Once you receive the invoice number to pay the immigrant visa, and then uh, to, the form 2ST60, you can at the same time submit all the civil documents, okay? 
So subscribe to my channel and see you for another video. Take care of yourself, guys.